hi everyone welcome back to my create money stack tutorial series in this tutorial we are going to add logout functionality in our restful api where we will be uh, invalidating access json web token and refresh json web token let me quickly show you what it looks like at the end of the tutorial so we are going to create user.logout uh, url endpoint in our user.router file which is like so so what this function do is that when we let's say user have to sign in before a user wants to log out right so let's say if user has signed in user will receive the access token and refresh token which we have done in our previous tutorials so so user has to send this access token in order to log out because that will validate the user is genuinely logged in and he wants to log out so if user sends this token to log out using delete matter before we send the request i want to show you first if i access to my ready cli which is connected to ready database and to get the token i'll get the user id which is the user id of the user is which is in the database and which user also has the refresh token stored in the database so which you can confirm with bei and here you can confirm with vei so if i send the request to the log out endpoint it will send the message back to the client saying logged out successfully and if you check that key in our ready database now nil that means it has been deleted from ready database and if you check our mongo database and refresh that database now the token is deleted that's what we are going to do in this tutorial hey if you don't know me my name is prem acharya from dented code i create tutorial related to full stack web development if it is interesting to you please subscribe the channel and turn on the notification and if you like this tutorial please click that like button it will help me to grow my channel thank you for doing that and let's jump into the computer okay guys let's start with the readme file here we are going to create the user logout endpoint which will take the delete request and then it is private so we need to get the user authorization header where client will have to send the json web token okay let's work on that so let's go to the app.js here we are capturing all the users router endpoint and then forwarding to this file so let's go to that file where we have our all the router capture and we have the user get user post login um password reset request and password um update so here we are going to now create the another router endpoint called the logout so since the logout is the private route because we need to capture the um json web token in the request header i'm gonna copy this one and i'm, I'm gonna uh, explain you why we need this okay so this one is a um, user logout and invalidate jwts okay and this one is delete method and we will have the logout here and we will need this um middle way we'll go in a second this one okay and then see what's in there so um i'm gonna comment this out right now we will have authorization header right so let's do authorization let's destructure from request.body uh, actually not body header because it's coming as a header and let's response back this value let's make sure this works first and let's go and see what's in the user authorization so what either user authorization does is it checks if it has the authorization header which we will be creating in a second and i'll explain that and it verifies this um json web token using the jwt package and if the token is valid we have an email in the payload of the json web token so if the email is valid we have the user and we can get the user uh, id from the redis database because we have saved user id and the json web token as a value and key pair data in the redis database i'll show you that in a second as well if we don't have user id we will respond say forbidden if we do have the user id then we will forward our middleware to the next function or next piece of middleware which will catch this function and here we can do all our things okay this is our workflow first we are getting the capturing the jwt and verifying if it is valid if it does then we will delete the access token from the redis database and then we also delete the refresh token from mongo database as well okay so this portion is already done from our user authentic user authorization middleware so this part already done before we go ahead this one what i want to do it let's go and call this router endpoint so what i'm going to do i'm just going to copy this person to reduce the typing time and we have to update a few information first i'm going to say user logout endpoint and our lo user logout endpoint is user slash logout and our method is not pass our method is delete if you can remember from our readme file and our uh, api endpoint so 
We don't need the content type and the body data. All we need is the authorization header. So we simply provide authorization header and pass the JWT. So this JWT basically client sends it. Client only can request logout if they are logged in, right? So first client will have let's say logged in by sending the login request and then client will receive or oh, let me run the application first npm okay application is ready to receive the request so let's send the request as you can see here status success logged in successfully we have access token and refresh token if we check this access token in our redis database let's let me quickly access to the redis cli and if i do get and put this uh, JW, put this JWT and hit enter. I will receive the value because this is how we have stored our JWT and user ID as a key and value pair. So now we can copy this access JSON web, web token and send with our request to log out as an authorization header. So now if I send this one before I send this one, let's go to use that router and I don't want to use the middleware yet let's take me take it out first save the file and just want to make sure we receive this um header in our from our request so just send the request and if we receive the authorization header back exactly as it is that is means our router is working we have captured it so let's put back our um user authorization so what happens if user exists which is definitely exists then it will go through our middleware does all the stuff to verify the user and check if there is email or not if there is email and then get the user id from our redis database and then put that user id in the request object and forward our middleware to the next function which will be uh, caught in this portion of the router so once we have here we can again capture the header authorization and then now we have user id which is in the requested user id which we uh, assigned to here so let's grab that user id and now number part one part is done in our user authorization that's done so now we can proceed to delete the access token from redis database so let's do that so we have a token if we go to our file explorer and then if we go to our redis helper we have a delete json web token here so let's import that what it does is simply it will uh text the json web token and if it is exist in the redis database it will simply delete so let's copy that function and let's import in our file here let's do const um delete jwt require a, and then let's import that file which is in the helper slash um, jwt helper and now we can use this function in our router right simply provide that person and make sure to pass the json web token okay this one will delete the json web token from our redis database so if we send this request now the id will be deleted from the uh, redis database let's send that okay it's forbidden we'll get back to this in a second so what we're gonna do now is we're going to work on our delete refresh jwt from mongo let's put this down here and um if i go to the database and if you see here refresh uh, json web token this is the token which is completely different from the our access token which is ending r a g but this one ending with a b u so which is completely different so what we're gonna do is that delete this one and leave the empty string so that will invalidate the refresh token so okay i have just delete that but i can i have an update the database so token is still there now let's go to our user model and see if we have any function that i can simply call to update that value in the database so go to go to user model yeah uh user by email user id there you go store user refresh jwt we created this function to create the json web token on login request so we can also use the same function to update the token but what we do we simply pass the empty text and then what it does it will go to the schema and it will do the query find one and update query and it will find the user based on the user id which we have here and then it will set the value of refresh token so here instead of passing actual token we will pass empty string and it should update the database with the empty string and that's all we need to do 
So let's call this function and to pass the ID and the token from our user router. So let's go to the top of the file and see if we have already used that. We have not used it yet. So let's user, 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 user. Okay, let's see. User model. Okay, let's, the file is already imported here for the other functions. Now let's call that function as well and go down where we want to delete our database. So just say control B. I'm going to paste that and then we need to pass the ID and pass the empty string and this function also returns promises so we can wait and see what's the result coming so simply say and equals to await and if you want to use await here make sure you provide async here which is already there and i'm gonna delete this one we don't need that and let's save the file and make a new request now if we send this one it's definitely gonna be forbidden because this key is not that this jwt is not existing in our um ready database so let's go login again go to our login a request make a request here and now we have the new json web token and go down to the logout endpoint paste this here and let's make sure it's in the let's check in our redis as well if i hit enter we have this key coming that means it exists in our ready database and if you see our refresh token in in our uh, response you can see lvc let's confirm that in our database as well so if i refresh the database i'm going to cancel and if you see refresh token here now you're going to see lbc here as well so this is the new refresh token so let's send the request and we have forbidden let's see why it's returning forbidden let's go to our user router coming from our middle way which is this middle way so here i want to see on console and console log out and then see what's happening with the decoded value because this error is coming from this response so save this file let's send the uh, request again and um, see what's the problem okay i can see there is an error okay so this is actually the um json web token expire validation oh i remember in the last tutorial just to show you the example i think i have put when we created this token we have put the expiry uh, expiry time is one minute that's why let's go to our um, just web token helper and see where we have created the token create access token if you see expires in one minute that's the reason causing problems so uh, let's keep 15 minutes which is pretty um, ideal so let's save that file now we need to go and sign in again to get the press token so let's go sign in again now send the request now we have the press token and we can com confirm that in our ready cli by getting get token and value you can see the user id that means it's uh, existing our user database sorry uh, ready database and now let's send this fresh key to our uh, logout endpoint and before we do that i want to quickly check our logout so we can um console this result and uh, here if everything is okay let's say um let's read response result back for now and uh, in our middle way let's remove this console here we don't need that save the file and let's go back to our client application here and then make the request and let's see how it goes okay we have another error throwing delete json web token is not a function because we forgot to import probably in our user router 184 make sure we import that file okay we have imported that file let's go to delete jwt helper and here yes yes delete json web token it is jwt helper this is not from jwt helper i think it is from the redis helper yeah my bad again uh let's go update this one to helper slash uh, redis helper save that file and see let's go to the uh, client and then let's make another request now send the request and we get the user back that means you can see there is no token anymore in our database which we can confirm from the database okay let's confirm first let's do up arrow to get that token check get see this is the token 914 you check if it is existing in our redis database or not hit enter it's nil that means it is deleted from our redis database and use as you can see already here data which is coming from our mongodb if you refresh this one and go to our refresh token so we don't have any token that means now user is completely um 
logged out so i'm just gonna um, remove our console from here i'm gonna save this file go to user router i'm gonna remove this and say if you see this here result result has got the id here right so we can simply say here if we have result dot underscore id that means the information is updated that's why we got the data from the mongo database so here we can say status access message logged out successfully we close that and we can simply return from here if not we said uh, we just want to copy this and we can say if the the database couldn't update properly then we can say status error and then just say unable to log you out please try again later let's save that and then do one more try and let's see how it goes we need to get the fresh token because we don't have any token in our database so sign in if i do copy the token and do get token in our redis client there is a token in our redis database so let's update in our authorization header of the logout endpoint send the request logged out successfully there you go guys and let me remove the console from the uh, our api router save the file the access token and the refresh token both are deleted now so it's safe so that's all you need to do to create the logout endpoint in the restful api so rest of the thing we have to handle from the front end but the backend rest api that's all we need and i'm gonna commit this change the logout api is added and i'm gonna do git push before i git push actually i have to show you a quick thing let's go to our uh, readme file here we have marked everything is done now this person is done as well and save the file i'm gonna uh, update this one as well so that you can check it git push there you go guys the code is available in git repo the link will be in the description below and before we finish the tutorial i quickly like to update the uh, project status how how are we going so if we remember i have created a trilo for this project i have been updating this trilo behind the scene you can see all the activity i have done here so basically these are the part that we have done and we have just completed logout client api as well now i can mark as done so that makes our user router if we go to our code and refresh this one you can see the readme file here as well as you can see our user uh, api resources they are all done now i can mark user router is done as well so the next tutorial from onward we are going to work on our um client side api for ticket router endpoint so we are going to work all of this one uh, from the next tutorial or all of them probably in one tutorial let's see how it goes so make sure you stay subscribed to receive that tutorial okay i'm gonna just pull all of them here and add new ticket on the top and then so on so on so on okay guys once this one done we will start working on our integration to the front end react application with redux thanks for watching guys hope you like the tutorial if you did then please give me a thumbs up and in the next tutorial we are going to create a rest api for tickets so it's going to be kind of crowd process of the ticket endpoint so so make sure you turn on all the notification to receive that tutorial so till then guys code every day again and be awesome i'll see you next bye for now